Drugs in the Bible, you wouldn't imagine it, would you? But there are plenty of drugs in the Bible. In fact, not only are there drugs, there are also preparations of drugs. And I'm going to tell you about one of those now. One of those is the Shemen Hamishcha, or the anointing oil. And it comes from the word Masha, which means to wipe or to paint. It's where we get the word massage from. So we tend to think about the anointing oil as something you might dribble on the forehead like they do in certain rituals of the Eastern Church. But back in the day it looks like it was used as a massage oil and people were massaged all over with it. And those people would have been the priests and the kings. And in fact, to be a priest in the Israelite tradition, or in the Israelite tribe, you had to be anointed with this oil. And also to be a king, you had to be anointed with this oil. And if you look at the literature, it's very clear that the spirit of Yahweh comes on, or comes to someone as a result of being anointed by this oil. So what is in it? Hmm. Hmm. It's got a bunch of things, and these are listed in Exodus. It's got myrrh. Hooray for myrrh! It's got cinnamon, it's got cassia, and it's got something called canea blossom. Now, myrrh is, as we said in a previous video, myrrh works on the opioid system. And then you've got cinnamon, which contains eugenol. And eugenol is what you can make MDMA out of. And then cassia, is what you, which contains estrogel. And estrogel is an interesting stuff. It is described on Erwid as having an electric LSD-like effect. But if you take it on its own, it won't do a whole lot for you. In fact, it won't do anything at all. It might make you a little bit sleepy because the enzymes in your gut will break you down. But much like with ayahuasca, where if you inhibit the monoamine oxidase enzymes, the DMT gets to your brain, and if you, t if you eat spoonfuls of DMT, it won't do a whole lot. Ayahuasca also contains an inhibitor. So this mixture of oils also contains an inhibitor. We're talking about allobenzene chemistry here. And cassia c inhibits some of the cytochrome enzymes, and cinnamon inhibits others of the cytochrome enzymes. And it looks like myrrh inhibits others of the cytochrome enzymes. And the final thing, which we're going to talk about in a moment, also inhibits cytochrome enzymes. But by inhibiting the enzymes that prevent estrogel and eugenol getting into your brain, it means that obviously estrogel and eugenol can get into your brain, which means they can have their fantastic psychedelic effects. Now, the final thing which is contained in these... The final thing which is contained in the oil, the anointing oil, is kaneh bosom, called kaneh bosom in Hebrew. And in the singular, that is kaneh bos. And in later literature, in the Talmud, you see it written as kaneh bos. And it looks very much like this stuff is cannabis. The tribes around Israel, or Palestine, uh, for example, the, the Scythians had... The tribes around Palestine, for example, the Scythians, they had cannabis. Uh, Herodotus visits them in about the 5th century BC and he describes how they fold the flaps of their tents down and they place cannabis on uh, hot stones and the, the smoke comes up and they jump up and sings. Herodotus co comments that it is better than any Grecian vapour bath. So the Scythians were using it and the Persians were using something with a similar name, and the Babylonians were using something, and the Greeks were using something, and all of the tribes around were using something that had a name very much like cannabis. Now, in Egypt, uh, Egypt didn't have cannabis as native, but on the tomb, or in the mummy of Ramesses II, they found cannabis pollen. So they were getting it from somewhere, and the way that you get things into Egypt from India and that direction is through Palestine. So it's definitely coming through Palestine. And in fact, there's descriptions in the Bible of Kaneh Bosom being sold in the marketplace and it's described as coming from a long way away. So Kaneh Bosom, if we follow the research of Suma Bennett and also Chris Bennett, um, this stuff looks very much like it is cannabis. Cannabis! My name is the Reverend Danny Nemu, and I have written this book called Neuroapocalypse. It's out on Psychedelic Press.